Welcome back everyone and today we are back on our abandoned farm where I'm taking this farm and turn it into a money making machine. Can we do it? Welcome back to the farm. Uh, it actually rained all last night, but they're not. So it did rain, but I was looking at it. Everything looks pretty good. I really do need a, um, I guess like a, a rock picker upper, but that would definitely help out our uh, fields and everything. Eventually we'll make another field, but I don't want to do it just yet. Also, I asked you all, what should we do with this tractor? I got a comment saying we should sell the tractor so we can keep the big tractor. And since this one's a whole lot faster and powerful, you Use it to cut uh, the grass and then bale it up and sell that. That is a good idea. And also, we should get an axe or a chainsaw to um, cut trees down. Now, we do have quite a, not too many trees, but we do got some tall ones. I'm pretty sure we'd probably get maybe at least a thousand or two per tree. I mean, that sucker is huge. And it's straight. Well, some of them are. And I feel like that's the more money you get. But I got good news. So you're probably wondering what the good news is. Good news is, well, it's kind of sad, but we are actually selling this bad boy. We're actually selling the old Fergus. Now, I actually like this, but I talked to my neighbor and they were like, hey, we'll, we'll give you 11.5 for it because that's 12. Like, we'll give you 11.5. I was really wanting like nine, but they said 11.5. I was like, yep, I will take it. So they're actually on vacation and we'll be back tomorrow. Um, we had some fees and stuff come out. Our bank we had $382 I called the rental company I was like hey is there any way we could extend it until tomorrow and I'll have the money because I want to keep it you know for a couple more days they're like yeah that's fine just cost more so we've got this bad boy for a couple more days well hopefully for a while and we'll actually just be able to buy it or something like that because this is a big uh, part of the farm right now it really saved us and it will run any piece of equipment we have we even got this if we need a loader or anything like that we've got the fuel and stuff so to Today, we're going to be doing some cutting and baling and everything. I think we're going to use, well, we're definitely going to use this tractor. I think we might be, nah, I don't think we don't have the front. I was wanting to see if it had the front where we could hook it up and everything, but I don't believe we can hook it up to the front of this. All right, let's get this bad boy hooked up and we're going to go do some cutting. Boom. Yeah. Now, I wish this tractor actually had an inload attachment. I think that would be pretty good, but we've got that makeshift one, so... We're okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to lower this bad boy, get it going, and I, I do want to cut our driveway out some so it doesn't look so no one here looking. <laughs> so let's see how good this bad boy does. I think we're cruising at a crisp five miles an hour. That's okay. Because we got like almost the tra uh, trailer full with the uh, little field that we had. I should have cut it before I plowed it. We would have got a lot more, but that's okay. We'll just keep on rolling like this. It's a slow process, but we'll get it. At least we're getting rid of some of the brush. Well, that was a lot of cutting, but we got a pretty good, now I didn't cut a lot of it because again, like it, it, it took several hours. Little machine, um, but looks like we did pretty good. I need to cut right back there. Now, I didn't want to cut too close to the fence because I want people not to be able to see in here. I was going to cut that, but I was like, you know what? Let's just cut over here for now. So we are good to go. We're going to go drop this off, and then we're going to grab air, uh, a tether or whatever. I did cut over here, too. I might have clipped air uh, cultivator a little bit, but I want to grab air tether or whatever you call it <laughs> and fix that. All right, there she is. Backing on up. All right. Perfect. Now, hopefully... <laughs> This doesn't limit us to five uh, miles per hour because that is absolutely horrible. Oh yeah, we're good. Actually, you know what? I probably should do it the other way so it brings it away from it because I don't want to put it over in there. Oh yeah. 
Look at that. Oops. Yeah, we're getting it now. I cut everywhere I could. I mean, we're, we're going to try to get the last little bit. <laughs> we can't. All right, I'm going to make a couple passes with this, and then we'll get our baler out, and we'll be good. Thank you. All right, so we got this kind <laughs> of sort of done. Um, it, it's it's still a mess, but it's in a little bit bigger of a mess than it was. But we got all that, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the baler, which is where is it? Oh, I think we parked it around back. I think that's what we did. All right, let's go ahead and lower this. All right, we're gonna go hook up to this, and we're gonna. Hopefully get some bells. I think on the last one we got one, let's see, one, two, three, what, six of them. So hopefully this one we get a lot more. And we got that just out of, you know, a little field right there, which I should have cut it before I did that, but it'd be all right. Now I do need to go through here and cut, but this thing just takes so long. Dude, head and get it. It should be a lot better since we did get it up in piles and everything. Oh yeah, making the money, we're trying to at least every way we can, we gotta live off the land even if we gotta cut our grass, let it grow and then cut more grass, we'll start a, we'll start a baling business <laughs> at 8 miles an hour. I'm predicting we get about maybe 15 to 20 bells from this I think, and the bad thing is <laughs> we don't have auto load, so. We have to do everything yourself. It's like, you don't have a lot of help, and you need all the, the auto load and everything, but when you don't have a lot of money, you can't get it. But then when you got a lot of money, you're good to go, but you can afford help. And the, the process kind of goes round and round. All right, that is going to do it as soon as I park in a tree over here. All right, let's go ahead and turn the machine off and everything. I think we'll go ahead. Let me back it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and unload it. All right. Well, that was a couple of hours right there working. Um, I don't really know how many bells or anything we got like that. Um, then we get a lot. Look out there. It's all gold and everything. Look at that. We have a lot. Now, the trailer is not going to be able to really grab all this. I'd love to get like an auto baler and everything like that. Most definitely got to get one. Right now, I think we'll just stack them up somewhere. I just actually just stack them here and we'll, uh, we'll We'll get them loaded and everything on a trailer. Well, as many as we can. I'm not going to load right now because we're not going to take it today. But I did want to get it all cut and everything because tomorrow they're coming by to buy the Massey Ferguson uh, tractor. So that'll be 11500 11, to the good. And then we can either get a bigger trailer or maybe like an auto load trailer. A trailer. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think your next purchase should be or if we should maybe like lease um, an auto load or something like that. We gotta make money and we need to make money now. With the field and stuff, yes, that does bring a lot, but it takes a while to get it. This we can do now. You know we got a lot. If I would stop throwing this, life would be great. <laughs> all right, this is going to do it. Now, I went ahead. Now, I didn't pick all of them up, bail it, or I mean, you know, put them all together. I'll just bring the trailer. So what I did was I went through, picked up the ones that was near each other, and did a pile. I think we got like one, one, two, three, four, five. It looks like we can make a little pile here, but I'm pretty sure we should have a couple thousand here, maybe. Fingers crossed, because we really need some money we need some gold mine money is what we need here but we got this so we cut it i'm pretty sure you know we this whole side over here we've got thousands and thousands of, the, uh, of dollars in grass hay bales if we need to do it so i really don't want to get rid of all of it but i think we're definitely going to buy a chainsaw when we get the money from the tractor and everything and i just checked the bank account we are negative 521 dollars so whenever they buy this tractor it'll be back up to where we need to be. I think I might actually, let's move this camper because it is right in the way. I guess I, I could have kind of cut me an area where I could have put the camper at. Maybe like a, a nice little view of the uh, river over there, but I kind of want to be up here where my equipment is because you never know, somebody might accidentally try to steal something. You know how the world is. Let's put this up here. I don't want to be right near the gas thing, but I feel like right here might actually have the pretty good view and everything. I 
think right there is good. Let's just go right there. Let me unhook the trailer. There we go. Check this out. Oh yeah, it looks a lot better cut. Like, it looked like this. You know, it's like, uh, run down. And now it's not. I'll cut farther, but I'm not going to go too close to the fence. Reason is, is you can't really see over there. And I don't want you to be able to see over there. So the closest that will probably go is probably like maybe right here. So you'll only be able to see a little bit of the landing. I keep forgetting we got this over here. Let me know, should we keep this or maybe we can sell it for you know two or three thousand i don't know let me know in the comments what you think that's worth let me know what you think of the series so far look at that once we get the little stragglers and stuff it's gonna look really good just cutting the yard you know grass may look a million times better and we'll get these trees done and everything but anyways i will see you in the next one make sure you hit that like button punch that subscribe button always helps out the channel leave a comment and as always woo, ha, ha, america baby do i see a sprout down there in, the, in that field no no it's dead did crow.